Yes, indeed, and welcome back. This is the Touchline. I'm Bernardo Kumu, and I'm joined by Mwalimu Kikechi Kombo, former development director with Kenya Rugby Union, and also rugby coach with Comras. Comras is a community a rugby club, right, that seeks to give opportunity to players. Yeah, to the young guys. To the, are, yes. Yeah, developing young players, age-based players. Yes. And they get an opportunity to play also in the championship and mm. uh, also climbing the ladder. You see now, we monitor the, the path the party of the players. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the age grade and uh, up to uh, the national team mm -hmm. and we have some who've uh, played at the national team also playing with the uh, the, K the kenya cup teams mm -hmm. and i think uh, that's one way that at least probably the kenya rugby union should embrace mm -hmm. uh, what the other countries have <coughs> done and they have succeeded the countries mm -hmm. like new zealand like australia and when you see these guys who are even playing at the world cup mm -hmm. uh, you see the, when you look at their record and how they have been monitored through the pathway mm -hmm. you see they have been nurtured from as, as early as under 10 mm -hmm. and they have gone up and um, to be world-class players mm -hmm. so i think that's a model that uh, these players need to and uh, Kenya Rugby Union need to embrace and also the other African countries need mm -hmm. to embrace. Mm -hmm. And uh, South Africa has been very successful mm -hmm. uh, with a, that kind of age grade rugby. And uh, when you look at a tournament like uh, Cravenwick, mm -hmm. where we have the age grade players playing and uh, have uh, mm -hmm. uh, coaches across the world, mm -hmm. they come and uh, do the scouting and take these players to um, international teams and uh, uh, clubs, big clubs like uh, food, like um, uh, Premier League and mm -hmm. uh, uh, they, they, they France, you know, they, they play and we find that they come and play for the national team and mm -hmm. they have a rich pool of players yes. to choose from yes. uh, because of uh, having monitored through the age grade program. Yes, and yeah. maybe uh, maybe school, you could also add that schools provide a better uh, age grade system for, for, for rugby scouts to target yeah. talent? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, one school uh, like KSSA is a, a big stakeholder for Kenya Rugby Union. Mm -hmm. uh, but at times, the, it's not uh, based on the structures because now, you see now, some of the, the way the curriculum is structured in Kenya, mm -hmm. it depends with the, the, the school principal. Yes. And that's why it's the biggest problem. Because people if they come and support, yeah. then we do good. If yeah. someone if else comes? Yeah. If a, a principal is transferred from one this particular mm -hmm. school, then mm -hmm. the rugby dies. You can people see the, a school like Kamega, which was doing so well, and because of that uh, transfer of uh, teachers, you know, it's really affected. The, then the Koyonzo school come in, but we know that they'll be down so soon once the principal goes. Yeah, once the principal goes. Look at uh, teams like um, uh, the, the current the current MP for Kibera, yes. who was doing so well, yes. Upper Hill and Agoreti. Yes, uh, Mr. Orero. Mr. Orero. Yes. Yeah, now when he left, you can be able to see there's some gaps now mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's the biggest challenge with uh, our school system. Yeah, but, I rem yeah I remember he was at Upper Hill and Upper Hill went on to win a national title. They went to Dagoretti. Yeah. Yeah, but now it's you can't say anything <laughs> about the two schools again. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, two things are not working well now because he has left. And uh, the, the CB system is there, but you see now the issue is they need to put the structures in place mm -hmm. uh, for this particular, to sustain uh, mm -hmm. the program in this particular school. Mm -hmm. And uh, the curriculum they're saying probably in, uh, in, the, in the upper, in the senior classes, mm -hmm. we'll be having um, a school for sports, and then we'll be having schools for the other side of probably the STEM, mm -hmm. the other subject. Mm -hmm. So we hope now that one will be able to pick it up, but they're waiting to see mm -hmm. if it works out. We know how our education system works here in Kenya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yes. a bit erratic. And so uh, for Comras, it's been able to register some of the highlights what are some of the achievements or highlights are from uh, the program so far that the, it has been around well, well, uh, well, well they, we have seen that some of some of these age players they, mm -hmm. have, they have joined a school like uh, the one they joined Mohori Mushiri High School mm -hmm. and they went all the way to win East African uh, Seventh Championship in Gulu. Mm -hmm. So you can be able to see how these players, you know, it's a case system where they were put together and uh, from the age grade under 12 and by the time they were going for East Africa, they mm -hmm. were at an average of 16, uh, mm -hmm. an average of age of 16 years mm -hmm. and they went and competed and, wo and won. Mm -hmm. But you now like countries like Uganda who had come, Ginger, secondary school, Colons, uh, Kololo mm. with an average of 19 yeah, and yeah. these were uh, 16 years and they were, they were, they were very talented and they won. Yes and I mean uh, people maybe have been talking about that is that is there a way or uh, maybe a dedication system in Uganda you know like favors them when it comes to uh, uh, sports? Yeah, but see now the, the factor in the age because you must be under under 19 oh, uh, to be uh, able to play. Okay. But uh, when you look at their system, the form six system, you see mm -hmm. now they're slightly high and they get more compet competition yes. and proper competition, unlike uh, this the eight four four system. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I like the federation, the, the East African Federation. Uh, FIESA. You see the way they have structured mm -hmm. such a way that you must be under 19 to to play in the championship, which is something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And so I mean, uh, with the KRU, maybe apart from just uh, 
though we've seen uh, the Kenya Cup teams having, uh, uh, you know, the second tier side that uh, compete in, in, in the, yes, in, in yes, the yeah. Eric Charlie and Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 uh, well oh, but the, the biggest problem with uh, the Kenya Rugby Union and like uh, when we look at the other system, like what happens in South Africa with Saru, mm -hmm. you know, Saru has got um, an elaborate league for under 20 mm -hmm. and elaborate for under 23, mm -hmm. yeah, even under 19. You see now there are those systems and these players go through on, on those particular uh, age, age grade structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as they monitor the pathway of these particular players. Mm -hmm. So the, the problem here, Eric Shali, is um, it's just uh, players who are mixed up with the age. There's no proper under 20. Mm -hmm. You'll get a player who is, uh, who is uh, 30 years, 26 years, but now he's playing Eric Shali. Mm -hmm. uh, but unlike they could have put out a rule that uh, Eric Shali should be under development 20. Side. Yeah, development side, under yes. 20 players. Mm -hmm. So now they keep on shifting up and down. I think that could have worked so well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, when I was the director, I tried to bring that one to the board, but uh, they resisted because now they said, unless the Kenya Rugby Union funds the program, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the other the Kenya Cup clubs can oh. be able to fund the under-20 team. But how do we develop rugby? I think Kenya Rugby Union needs to open up because we've been in this system and yeah. it seems it's not working yeah. for, for, for long. Yeah. Yeah, they need just to tell this system is we're going to work, clubs will have under-20 and uh, this under-20 should have a proper league and a, a sponsor coming in board. Mm -hmm. But at times there's all wrangles within the, the board and uh, you know some of these things end up uh, on the drains, they don't work. And then maybe that's why, you know, like um, they've been, there's not so much in the pipeline when, yeah. when, when Akina Ayang and Injera's exit, yeah. you know, yes. the rest who are coming in, yeah. it's, it's not easy to find them. Yeah, you see now, where well, you don't have a, a, a proper structured program, like now we'll be having a Sevens Academy, mm -hmm. a functional Sevens Academy. Mm -hmm. We'll also be having um, a, 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 a camp, mm -hmm. uh, uh, seasonal camps mm -hmm. for probably under 20, under 23, mm -hmm. and uh, be involved in the international tournaments. Mm -hmm. So now we'll, we'll be able to now to monitor the, the part players. Mm -hmm. So these guys goes up and down. Mm -hmm. But you see now, uh, what comes in is uh, get players from uh, the clubs, they come and play. <laughs> now, yeah, it just you know, it's, 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 it's no, there's no structured system. Yeah, yeah. That, that's where the problem are now. You cannot be able to get the, a, a furnished talent that just you, you know that this guy is going to fit in the seventh team. This guy is going to fit in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the simplest team. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, in the, in the 15th team. Yes. So this, there's no proper structure. Yes. That's what's affected our yes. rugby. And even the, 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 um, the season, the seventh season, the seventh, seventh season is, yeah. is not enough to. to to churn out talent, you know, yeah, it, in a season. Yeah, those are seven series. Yeah. Uh, seven series, that, they, that's what uh, they use it for selection of the players now. Uh, you know, we have coaches who, who moves around and they select the players from the, the clubs that are playing. And these players now are brought to, uh, they, they, they now the, the seventh day, the national, yes. uh, they should churn out team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they trim down to 30 players and they're contracted now to play but see now is that enough now no. but they should have uh, just an academy uh, yeah. the sevens academy like what happens with the, uh, the blitz box in south africa mm -hmm. uh, which is based in, uh, in, in um in uh, which is based in um in, in cape town yeah so you see now they can you can be able to mount and you have the coaches who just deal with this and they keep on now shifting the players up yeah. and down integrating Inter them into the, yeah, into the system slowly. yeah yes, yes. so at least probably if they're traveling to dubai they can say let us have two guys also traveling uh, maybe they are moving to LA, they are moving to uh, Vancouver, yes. the three guys coming mm -hmm. in. So you find that you, you have a, a funny system. Yes, yeah, and players also getting to the team. The experience, slowly. yeah, yeah LP, slowly. Yes. Yeah. So you keep on winning because now these guys are getting experience. The guys, some are being faced out and some are coming in. So it's a complete structure yeah. and uh, a good system. You, yeah, you don't wait for a total overhaul. It doesn't yeah. work, right? <laughs> it you does, must yeah. go down, yeah, yeah, like yeah, sure. where we are now. Let's talk about the Challenger series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Challenger is, I think this time it was a bit tough for the Shuja. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, though we still have uh, one more game to play, but having um, gone down to uh, Georgia in 17-0, mm -hmm. and uh, they also struggled against, mm -hmm. uh, 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 they also struggled against Pojogo yesterday, coming and uh, winning 19-12. Yeah, but now we are having an uh, interesting one coming up against Tonga. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at uh, 8 uh, today. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you look at Tonga, Hamad, uh, Georgia, 40, for, uh, 40 to 5. Yeah, yeah, so, so it's going to be a tough one. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I like the way the coach has done, where he has uh, 
uh, got in at these new players mm -hmm. because I think uh, he's focused and he's preparing for what will happen in Madrid mm -hmm. because that's where they, 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 they need a, a big guys and uh, they need a complete team mm -hmm. to do the damage in Madrid mm -hmm. for, for us to go back to the HSB series. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will be very tough in, in, in Madrid. Mm -hmm. So, uh, probably got in the five guys, uh, the likes of uh, Salem, mm -hmm. uh, Olokuse, and mm -hmm. then uh, also have uh, Bakuse, mm -hmm. uh, Oyuang, and uh, uh, Elvis. You mm -hmm. see now, also to go and see how they, they play and fit in the system. Mm -hmm. So probably when he goes to the last leg, uh, that is coming up towards the, on, on 18th and 19th of May mm -hmm. uh, in Munich. Mm -hmm. uh, so now you have a complete squad because within two weeks, mm -hmm. they'll cross off an hour to Madrid to meet the last four guys. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be tough because mm -hmm. when you look at the four guys mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on, the, on the lower, on yes. the lower rank, yes. uh, we have the Spain. Spain yes. were the, at the semis mm -hmm. uh, in LA. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, USA, mm -hmm. uh, who might also fall back. We also have Samoa. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, uh, we also have uh, uh, Canada, mm -hmm. but Canada is, seems not to be doing so well. Mm -hmm. um, and Samoa. So, so these teams, how do we win against this team? Yes. Also, Blitzbox mm -hmm. probably mm -hmm. might slip, but with them they won. Um, they, they won in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the last four might be a bit uh, tough. How yes. do you play against USA and mm -hmm. win? How do you mm -hmm. play against Samoa? How do you play against Spain, mm -hmm. who are in the semifinals? How mm -hmm. do you play against uh, the Great Britain, uh, who were in the finals? and lost to France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are some of the teams that were like. So has um, uh, the coach um, focused on Madrid yes. and having the, the right player yes. is now, oh, sorry, in Munich and qualify for Madrid. Mm -hmm. So he should now be able to look at the last four guys yeah. because one of those big guys will meet at the semifinals. Because so how, the, how yeah. do you unlock USA? Yeah. Yeah. How do you unlock Samoa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you unlock Great Britain who were in the finals in LA uh -huh. and they played very well against France who won their first uh, tournament in 19 years mm -hmm. um, by the, 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 the former captain of uh, the, the national team, mm -hmm. the France national team, Dupont, who has now fallen down mm -hmm. and now is playing for seventh, preparing for Olympics that's coming up in Paris. Mm -hmm. So they are, they are trying to fix their squad and you know, they are also doing it so well because when it comes to Paris, mm -hmm. I think they want to have a, a clean team, a very good seventh team having lost to uh, Springboks in the, in the semis, yeah. uh, in the World Cup. And mm -hmm. this was very disappointing for them. They could not believe that they could lose to Springboks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's still out. And in fact, it also affecting them in playing the Six Nation. Mm -hmm. They have not there yet to, to stabilize. Mm -hmm. But uh, Shuja needs now to have the right guys in, uh, in, in, in Munich, uh -huh. and then the guys will cross off and out to Madrid to be yeah, the damage. Yes. And maybe what, what does it require now? What, what should um, uh, Coach Bling and, and his side just achieve in the in today in Montevideo in New yeah Uruguay. yeah yeah they, 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 you, you are right because they need to do well uh -huh. uh, to be among the top four mm -hmm. you know they are leading the lock yes. they won yes, Dubai, in Dubai uh, yes. 20 with 20 mm -hmm. points mm -hmm. so they need to at least have um, 15 points or um, uh, go on to win again to have mm -hmm. 40 points mm -hmm. then now uh, in Madrid just or in, in, Munich, in Munich just to confirm yes uh, that we are going now for the big one in in Madrid mm -hmm. because now they'll be among the top four, uh, they win. Uh, uh, leaving as number one, uh, going to Madrid as uh, the top of the challenge series. Mm -hmm. I think that will be a big confidence for, for the players. And uh, they also need now to come and look at the mistake they have made uh, in today. How was the attack? How was their defense? Uh, where did they lose? Why should we have um, a, 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 a national team player who knocks the ball. That means yeah. probably we also, Kenya rugby, what, what are we doing in terms of preparing these guys on the age grade? Are they coming through the age grade? Yeah. Why should a national team player knock the ball? I think yeah. that, that, that's, that's something you should yeah. not, that's mm -hmm. our basic things that mm -hmm. should be done early enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do we attack? How do we, how do, how, 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 how do we, how do we get the ball from, mm -hmm. from the racks and circulate the ball? How fast are we in terms of getting the ball from the rack and circulating and attacking? You could say that Kenya may be right now desperate to have uh, furnished talent. Yeah, well, well, they are there. It's just a matter of putting him in the, in the right structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the right structure. But uh, you, when you look also look at the squad, you know, having the likes of Buffa and the likes of uh, uh, the guys who left, and mm -hmm. they are playing their rugby in the U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. You see now, these young guys uh, were left behind, mm -hmm. like Wekesa and uh, Onyala, yes. and uh, now Tony. They are trying to uh, to gel with the other guys now mm -hmm. to get a winning a winning team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the other guys were there, like Sovinger and uh, Mbachi. You see now they, were, they played for so long and they they kept uh, the Kenyan uh, team uh, on the right map. Yeah, yeah. So and we need now to have the right guys to come and feed it again. Yes, indeed. And Coach Wambua maybe just had a perfect start to his uh, reign when. Of course, getting the Olympic ticket and also just beginning the Challenger Series on a winning note. I think that's enough to give him the fire to go all the way. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's right. But see, now at times when you are playing weak side, you you, you don't get the, the right structure. You do get disturbed because you get a team that just plays crap rugby. And they <laughs> win like, <laughs> like Georgia yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> that's where the problem is. But now you see, you also need to compete with a team that's playing structured uh -huh, rugby. Uh -huh. Because when you go into for HSP series, uh -huh. these are the teams who are playing against very strong teams in the series. And they also be competing to retain their position in HSP series. And Kenya will be working out to qualify. Uh -huh. Yeah teams like Germany, you know, they are, they are gaining their strength on Kenya because Kenya has been a successful team yes. uh, in, in, se in, in the seventh rugby. Yeah. Uh, yes. So, yeah, so they are, they are testing and see how, 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 how good are we mm -hmm. when we go to Madrid and mm -hmm. also try to qualify. Mm -hmm. So Kenya needs to up and uh, probably they should have a proper camp and a proper competition mm -hmm. uh, in between so mm -hmm. that they can get to be in the right uh, structure to go and, uh, and compete effectively in Madrid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, it, should be so, it should also be known that it's never easy to just um, bounce back immediately. Well, well, it's like in a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> How do you come out of it? <laughs> because we are playing guys uh, who are playing scrappy rugby. Uh, the guys yeah, who are playing... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they, yeah, currently where they are the challenge series. Where they are challenge series, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, these are probably... <laughs> the, they are guys who are... Who who are like Georgia, Georgia, they are, they are playing well in 15, mm -hmm. Uruguay, they are, they are 15 side, yes. yeah, they, they were in the World Cup, yeah, but now with the sevens, they, they have not been good, mm -hmm. but see now they are coming in and uh, they are testing themselves against Kenya and they find, oh, we can, we we can, can also win them. sevens, mm -hmm. uh, we can also win the seven side. But uh, I think it's good for him to have such a player like Ojuang. You see now the way he played yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably this um, a, a talent that he may not have been tested. But mm -hmm. now he brought it in. Probably in the training he was doing so well. Mm -hmm. And he was meeting uh, the expectation of, uh, of being in the seventh team. Mm -hmm. And uh, he showed that uh, he, is, he, has, he, can, he can do well mm -hmm. uh, in, within the seventh team. Mm -hmm. So the likes, they are missing. And uh, like Odongo, the, mm -hmm. the guys who didn't travel, mm -hmm. uh, had an injury. Mm -hmm. But you see now, that's also another issue that... Uh, Kenya rugby, you know, now is affecting the, the coach structure yes. because the coach is supposed to have these players. But why should we have these players go and play Kenya Cup? Why should we allow them to go and play the championship yeah. when they are the national team players? They should be contracted. They should yes. be given a full contract mm -hmm. uh, to stick with the national team mm -hmm. until the end of the contract. That's mm -hmm. when they can go back to, to, the, to, 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 to their clubs to play for their clubs. Yes. But here, this weekend, you are with the club. The other weekend, yeah, <laughs> you are, you are with, the, with the national team, the camp. Uh, so it, it really affects. And now you got injured. Uh, probably he'll be back uh, mm -hmm. by on time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Tanga also didn't uh, travel. Uh, yeah. But uh, things I hope it will, will work out and, uh, and for the next level. And, and that's, that's, that's maybe what we call professionalizing the, 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 the sports sevens, now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At your time, maybe uh, as a director at KRU, what were some of the proposals that uh, Gathering does maybe, maybe should be looked up, uh, should be looked into? Uh, well, in well, terms of yeah, professionalizing yeah, yeah. the, the sevens, you the know, se and I think that was one of the main reasons why, um, you know, when we were going down off the elite uh, yeah. series, yeah. Uh, elite circuit, it yeah. was like, yeah. there's no way we, c we can put up a proper fight if we don't professionalize it. Yeah, if we, we can't professionalize the game. You see now, mm -hmm. th that's where mm -hmm. the, the challenge is, and uh, the main challenge is our sponsorship. Uh, mm -hmm. Because you know, at times the sponsor also shy of when we have a lot of wrangles within the board. Yeah, you know, the, 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 this like the chairman today is there, the, the secretary. You see now, there's push and pull among mm -hmm. the, the board mm -hmm. members yeah, and so, the clubs so, too, and the clubs also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> they holding they the yeah, <laughs> some pressure from yeah. the, the clubs, and uh, they also say, how comes? players from this particular club, but have they made the standard mm -hmm. of being in the national team? That's mm -hmm. another thing. Mm -hmm. But why is this player meeting? So mm -hmm. at times also the clubs have hold the, 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 the board at Ransom, mm -hmm. but they need to try and work out, especially with the constitution, mm -hmm. so that uh, the, 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 the board and uh, the people who are running the game they, they should they should have a, a, a clean way of, of doing it instead of uh, a time being held ransom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just play the game. And they should have the sponsors, and seven sponsors should be there, but mm -hmm. for a long term. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't just have a sponsor for one year or two years, but we can have a sponsor for 10 years uh, with, the, with the team. Mm -hmm. I think that works out well. Mm -hmm. And these guys get um, um, uh, con contracted and and for full contract and to just be yeah. the seven for a certain period of time. Yeah, and, yeah. and I think rugby has one of the uh, sports in the country that it's been easy for them to attract and retain sponsorship. So I think it, it will not be a big struggle for, for, for it to come out properly. No, they, they need sponsors. I, yes. I don't think they have a, a good sponsors so far with the, the games. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when you go inside and look at it, mm -hmm. um, the, the, those sponsors uh, are there. They don't meet the, 
the budget for for the game for the game yeah, right they, they mm -hmm. don't they don't at all yeah mm -hmm. because when you look at the pay of this particular player can it be sustained does the pay uh, delay on or is it enough for for them to just feed there yeah and also attract these other guys who are probably you know in the playing for the other clubs foreign clubs to come and uh, quality yeah, quality players, quality players yes. who are playing for the corner and call them back come and uh, play for the national team yeah is it that there yeah. look at uh, the way the spring box works you see now Plays in the club and he comes for the camp, and if he features all throughout the the season until he finishes, but mm -hmm. he's, co he's fully he's fully contracted. Mm -hmm. He's fully con that's how, so that's yeah. where we are. Also uh -huh. facilities now. Yes, yes. So look at the facilities. Do you have? We um, had to go to South Africa maybe to just get some quality facilities. And we've seen Simba's doing that. Though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, competing like uh, Curry Cup. You, yes, know, Curry Cup uh, yes. you are competing against the world class players. Yes. So also you, you, you now you ra you're able to raise up your game, you raise mm -hmm. up your skills, mm -hmm. um, you get the right structure of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that works out well. Mm -hmm. And also uh, playing uh, club rugby mm -hmm. uh, for season in, out, it doesn't work. They should have franchise teams. Mm -hmm. A franchise team like what look at the Springboks. Yeah. You have the Stormers, you have the Sharks, yeah. you have the Bulls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see now the Cheetahs. Mm -hmm. so those, those, are, mm -hmm. yeah, those are franchise teams. Yeah, yes. They get players from the clubs from the region, mm -hmm. uh, furnished players, and they get sp full sponsored, and they have their own league. Mm -hmm. So that works out well for mm -hmm. us. But as we playing quite a number of amateur rugby for 100 years. <laughs> uh, Kenya rugby was <laughs> on September 1923. <laughs> 100 years, we are still playing the same rugby. We need to change. What yeah, suits us, change, but yeah. you know, we have to <laughs> redo, you know, yeah, yeah, in a better total way. overhaul it. Yeah. yeah, you just need to do it in a... Face uh, it out. Yeah, yeah, or bring some new, uh, new ideas, mm -hmm. uh, and then it will carry on. I think that will be able to make our, our game mm -hmm. uh, also to improve on the structure and mm -hmm. bring out players. Instead of just being there, the same club all throughout mm -hmm. the area. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe uh, we can talk about uh, the women just before we, uh, we end it. Uh, and uh, really, they also did win the silver in um, Dubai. Uh, in Dubai, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and um, yeah. coming into this particular one, the hopes are also high that uh, yeah. they'll also be knocking at the door of the Elite Series next season. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. but also look at the last four. But now when you look at uh, the way they've played uh, against Hong Kong, mm -hmm. where they won and uh, they lost to uh, Papua, uh, sorry, they, they won against Papua Guinea, yes. uh, 29-12, mm -hmm. but they also lost to, they lost Hong to Kong, Hong Kong, China. Yeah, yes. Hong Kong, China, 12-0. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But we are looking at Belgium. Uh, Belgium, this is a European team, and mm -hmm. European team is a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. But I uh, hope they'll now be able to win that one and make it to the next level. I mm -hmm. think they, they can do well, and they, they are playing well, and also bring the guy, the uh, Kelo from China, mm -hmm. uh, so from Japan to, mm -hmm. to join the team. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big plus, because the way he's playing, and the way he's running, and executing the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's working out well mm -hmm. uh, for the Paul Murunga and uh, Mwanja's yes. uh, uh, side. Yes, and so it will be, um, they also be, of course, looking out to finish among the top four and go for the, for, 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 for the playoffs yeah. later no, on yeah, yes, yeah, in, yeah. In, in, in Madrid, right? In Madrid, yes. yeah. Because now when the, the men will be crossing over to, to Munich, with them they'll go to, their, their, their last leg will be in Poland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they also expect to do well in Poland and qualify. But so far, so good for also the women team. Mm -hmm. uh, there's high chance of uh, being among the top four and qualify and go and work it out and see how they'll be able to work and be in the top series. If, uh, if, if they make it to the HSP 7 series, uh -huh. I think the, most, the life of these, uh, m most of these ladies will completely change. And yes. uh, we pray that uh, it, it works out well for them uh, yes. to qualify for HSP series. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mwalimo, for making your time. Thank you so and much. And all the best with Combras. Yeah, sure. Keep churning out talent. Yeah. Right? That's the way, that's, <laughs> that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> We're speaking to the former development uh, director at KRU and also the rugby coach for Combras. That's Mwalimo Kiki. Kechi Komo, pia ni mwalimu mzuri sana wa kiswahili. Yeah, na muandishi pia wa vitabu. Na muandishi wa vitabu. Na masante sana, lakini tutarejea na Tyra Soyaki on Fun Zone. Don't go too far. This is the touchline on Y254.